Hello, this is Farshid with another Just For You video. Today we're going to take a look at a ceiling fan and uh, this particular ceiling fan has a problem with one of its uh, internal components which is a capacitor. And the, uh, uh, the way it would behave uh, due to this uh, defective capacitor the speed of the fan runs very slow and uh, when you try to change the speed not much of a change from uh, speed one to two to three so I've taken the cover off starting with our uh, uh, light fixture and that's just two connections there that uh, comes off with a quick disconnect so that's off and then I've also taken out the uh, pull cord switch that sits through the main body of the fan through this hole and uh, exposed the capacitor so this capacitor it's actually a block that has three different capacitors inside of it let's see if we can read the values there is one capacitor here that is a 4.5 microfarad another one that's a 4 microfarad and another one 6 microfarad all three of these capacitors are connected uh, through one leg to each other which terminates out of this uh, bank using two gray wires and then each individual capacitor has its own wire our 4.5 has a red wire, our 4 microfarad has a brown wire, and a 6 microfarad has a uh, purple wire. Uh, later on we'll take a look at the uh, schematic of this. So we'll, let's take a look and see what this fan is doing with this defective uh, capacitor. Uh, on the top side of this uh, fan we have our wires that they're coming out. We have three wires that they come out. One is a blue wire, and we have our white and the black. The black and the white will provide power to our uh, fan motor, and the blue will provide power uh, to our light fixture. So if we take a look at these wires as they go through the center of the fan, they come out at this end we can trace them to this point there's our blue wire and it comes out and it has a label on there it says for light and the white is shared between our light fixture right here and right here and then the black wire comes out here which I've connected to it goes into our switch. Again, later on we'll take a look at the schematic of this uh, and what's going on inside of this fan. So now we're going to go ahead and turn our power on and see how the fan behaves. So the power is turned on uh, and uh, we're going to use our pull cord here to start the fan. Oh, obviously you've noticed that the blades are off the fan and that's a piece of paper attached to uh, give a nice uh, visual indicator of the uh, motor is actually turning but uh, the uh, speed is very slow especially when we put load on it uh, with our blades and then we're going to change the speed by pulling the cord again not much of a change there that should be a stop uh, turn the fan off for us so when you see something like that the most likely the cause is a capacitor bank and typically it's one of the capacitors inside the bank however you can't just replace one of them you have to buy the whole bank and uh, you can pick these up from the internet I think Amazon sells them for five to ten dollars depending on the uh, size of the motor and the size of the uh, capacitors. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn power off and then we'll disconnect this capacitor and take a look at the uh, each leg and see what kind of rating we get. So I've disconnected the capacitor. Now I'm going to move the whole assembly, the motor assembly out of the way so we can take a look at this uh, capacitor and see what's going on. Now one thing to keep in mind is Again, the capacitors uh, do store charge, and to be on the safe side, I always recommend discharging the capacitor. So the way you discharge a capacitor is um, taking a uh, conductive material. In this particular case, I have a screwdriver. I want to take that screwdriver and short the common side, which is the gray wire, to each one of the caps. So I have one cap that's the purple and the gray, the other ones are brown and gray. The, uh, the last one is red and gray. So I'm going to go ahead and discharge it. We may get a spark or may not. Let's see what we got here. There we go. That was a uh, cap, uh, the purple one discharging that cap. Uh, if we didn't do that, obviously, as soon as you touch it, you're going to provide that path to the ground and you're going to discharge the cap. Uh, we don't want to do that today anyway. Here we go. This one had a little bit of one. And we'll take a look at the last one here. Okay, we're good. So this is now discharged. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my meter in. Let me see if I can zoom this in for you guys a little bit. Uh, let's see here. This may be better. Yeah, we'll move this to this center of our screen here. Okay. So this is our meter, and this particular meter has a capacitance reader. So it's a microfarad that we can see it on on the screen. Bam! Next thing I do is I see here my red 4.5 microfarad. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch my gray one and the red one. Let's see what kind of rating we get and we get 0.684 microfarad. So most likely that's our problem. We'll go ahead and check the other caps. The next one I have is a brown one. It takes a, it takes a second or two for it to register because we're basically charging the cap using the meter it's battery. So in this case, it says brown is 4.06, which is pretty well in line with what we would uh, expect in this case should be a four and then the purple one we'll go to the purple one and see so there's uh, again a bit of a delay and this one shows six microfarad so again our problem is the red capacitor and then we'll take a look at the drawing and then uh, you'll see why that actually affects all three speeds so here we're looking at the two caps side by side. This is the closest thing I could find. Uh, our 4.5, which goes to red, is uh, spot on. And then here's where there is a discrepancy between the two caps. Our brown wire here, it's rubbed off here a little bit, but it's supposed to be a four microfarad. And we saw it when we measured it. However, our brown wire here is six. Closer uh, capacitor value would be a five microfarad, which is the purple. So keep that in mind. We're going to switch wires as we connect this new capacitor to our fan. Last but not least uh, is the purple wire here, which is six microfarad, which is uh, right on with our brown wire uh, that's coming off of the six microfarad capacitors. All right, we have our new capacitor connected to our fan. And as I uh, mentioned uh, earlier, the only change that we have to make in our wiring is the brown wire goes to the purple wire of our switch. And then the purple wire coming off of our capacitor goes to our brown wire. That gets us closer to our original values that we have on from our uh, our uh, cap that we took out, capacitor pack that we took out. So now let's take a look at and see how 
this will behave with the new capacitor in the circuit. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and turn power on and pull the cord. Yeah, see how much uh, starting torque we had there on that motor as it rocked the uh, frame of our fan housing. So we're running with much more power and much more uh, speed than the other cap. We're going to change speeds now. There we go. You can see the uh, difference between the two speeds there um, slowed down quite a bit. There you have it. That's the uh, uh, new cap in our <laughs> or in our uh, uh, fan. And then next thing we'll do is we'll take a look at the uh, schematics. So now we'll take a look at the circuit that um, connects these uh, three capacitors and uh, the switch. Um, here's our uh, capacitor bank and here's our schematic representation of it. There uh, is our switch. Right now it's sitting at a zero speed off position. And um, when we flip the switch over to this position, we'll have uh, speed one. If we follow the path of the current, we're going to come from our L, our line go through here, go through this capacitor, go through the red wire, go to the motor, and go back to neutral and complete the circuit. And so on and so forth. So let's look at each one of the speeds uh, by this diagram. So this is our off position. This is our on position speed one. We have our line current flows through here, goes through our selector switch, goes through the gray, gray wire, through the red wire, uh, coming out of the cap, to the motor, and back to our neutral. So that's uh, speed one. Remember that uh, we were running at speed one, but uh, was very slow because of the value of this cap was dropped uh, drastically from I believe it was from 4 um, microfarad or 4.5 microfarad down to less than 1. So what happens when we flip the switch to position 2 which would be our brown wire in this case so again the current flows through this line here through our switch to the capacitor on the brown from the brown wire through this capacitor through the gray wire and then through our capacitor that is connected to the red wire. That's why all the speeds were affected because of this cap being in series with this circuit. So for um, current flowing through this capacitor that's attached to the brown wire then through the gray wire it has to flow through this capacitor that's connected to the red wire which terminates at the one leg of the motor then to the neutral that's why this capacitor is the key if all three speeds are not uh, performing and uh, the switches checks out okay most likely this capacitor is the problem because this is the capacitor that's attached to all three speeds so it comes into play for all three of the speeds last but not least our speed number three so again we're still in on position our switch is flipped through the uh, third position which is the purple wire follow the path from it goes through one of the caps goes through our gray wire again that is the common this gray wire is actually internal this connection is internal to our capacitor bank so there's a connection here that each one of these caps 
if you just uh, picture this that capacitor is connected here and the other leg of the capacitor is hooked up to this gray wire so on and so forth so both of these gray wires are connected to all three legs of these caps and they're connected together for uh, giving us two different uh, points of connection so through the purple wire through our capacitor and then again through the capacitor that's connected up connected to the red wire then to the motor then the neutral so uh, the moral story is that if our 4.5 microfarad capacitor which is connected to the red wire if it's defective it's going to cause problem with all three speeds